Hey guys, it's Lenny and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to show you guys two more cars. Now, it's requested cars by people in the comments, that's why I'm doing this video. The, well one requested car anyway, which is the Michael car. Okay, so this is Jimmy's car from story mode and Michael is in the back, as you can see there. So that one, I'm going to show you how to do that properly and I'm going to show you how to do this Vapuccino. Now the Vapuccino has a glitch roof like that Ruinar that I showed yesterday. Um, yeah, this car's quite cool. I actually have one from PS3 that was modded and bought across. So, this here, this Panto, is the awesome little car that we want to use for merging, like, stuff with missing parts. Now, you guys mess around with this stuff, hey, because, like, you can find stuff that no one else has found. Um, I'm just, per like, purely showing you stuff that I know and that I have found. Okay, so there's other cars that you can do, missing parts and added parts and whatnot. But um, I'll run through the cars that I just did. Alright, so the Vabuccino is available from Legendary Motorsport. Okay, it's $225,000. And that's the car there. Okay, and you can, I believe, upgrade this at Benny's as well. Okay, it does not need to be upgraded at Benny's for this glitch, for this um, merge. And to be honest, if it's upgraded at um, Benny's, I don't think it'll work with the glitch roof. Okay, so the second car we're going to make will, in the video, it'll be the first car we make. But the, this car here, um, is the BJ. Okay, it's available from Southern San Andreas, $27,000, and it's the car that Michael meets Franklin in story mode. And the Panto. Okay, the Panto is the car we are going to use to make this all happen, and it's available from Southern San Andreas as well. Now, once you merge all your stuff over to the Panto, you need to bring it to the workshop, and you need to make all the parts visible again. Okay, you need to do that, otherwise it won't work correctly, or you might have issues making it work. So make sure everything is set back to none, make sure all the parts are visible. Okay, I even revert this exhaust back to standard. Um, the grill, I'd always just, just check and make sure that it's not invisible, so I'll go and purchase the first one and go back to it. Then I'll go down to the roll cage, and I'll apply the roll cage for this one. Okay, this one is the roll cage that we need for Michael in the back of that BJ. And make sure the roof is visible again, as you can see I just had to do then and go into the skirts and make sure that they're showing as well and the spoiler. Okay, so you just have to make sure that this car's visible. So I just purchase everything in those areas just to make sure that it's um, not invisible and you can't see it anyway. But yeah. Apply the competition suspension. That is one thing you have to apply to every vehicle that I've shown you. Competition suspension and tuner I showed you as well. Okay, so even that Karima that some of you guys are having trouble with, um, apply the competition suspension. So, I'm doing the glitch now, I'm going to go to my respray options, go to primary, hover over crew once I select it, go back to my dashboard, and then come back into the game. Once I'm in back of the game, the menu has gone from the left hand side, I hop out of the vehicle, press triangle or the Y button on Xbox, and run over to the BJ, okay? Drive it outside. You can't see it because when I'm doing this glitch at night, it's the footage at night time. So it's very dark outside. So you can't really see it. But when I open the door up and the interior light comes on, you can see Michael in the back. But I will go inside, inside of the arena and show you exactly that it's there. And um, this car is a car that you guys have requested, okay? So I didn't really want to bring you a bunch of videos on like all different cars because yeah, just you guys can mess with this stuff and make your own stuff as well. But I was getting asked how to make this car, and I made another stream the other day to show you guys, so um, and I was still getting questions, so I don't mind making it and showing you guys exactly what to do. So that's it, that's Michael in the back of that VJ. Um, now the next car is the Vapuccino. Okay, so I need to bring the Panto in, obviously, because I need to merge off it, and the only thing I have to do, if you follow that recipe that I showed you on how to make Michael's car, all you need to do for this is remove the roll cage. Okay, you need to leave everything completely standard. And then, um, yeah, everything's standard. Remove the roll cage, do the glitch. As I'm doing now, I just change the armor, hovering over crew, go to the dashboard, come back to the game. It's in fast forward, as you can tell. So everything was the same as the last car, but I just took the roll cage off. And this Vapuccino, I drive it outside. And as you can see there, they have, we have a glitch roof. Okay. So there's two cars you guys can build. Um, I haven't seen anyone post a Vapuccino, so I just thought I'd let show you guys that you could get this done, because more than likely this merge will be patched on Tuesday, or Thursday, or even Monday. Rockstar do not like mergers, and they tend to patch them up real quick. Alright, so you try and do this stuff now, and definitely take advantage of it. 
Alright guys, thanks for watching, appreciate your support, and we'll catch you in the next video. And um, I'm just taking this in the workshop to save it now. Alright, see you guys, bye. Just